Is um is there going to be any more scripts other than the reforms? Like, uh, for for example, like in Divide and Conquer, you you might take Aragorn, you can make him become the reunited kingdom or whatever, or Saruman taking the ring, something like that. I know that's a fantasy scenario, but will there be any more scripts? For example, like um like one of the leagues of the Germanians, you know. Um, maybe integrating another league, something like that, or just simple other scripts other than just the reforms? Um, yes, uh, okay. that's the cool. simple answer. Um, basically, any that's of that can be done. It's just um, we don't know when uh, yeah. or how or, like, it's all, like, I I see modding's like building a house, in my opinion, and for me, RAS is like building a house, my my house, and it's kind of like yeah. um, the foundation or the cement is mm. the map, and yeah. then um, you build, you start to build walls around that map. Yeah. And for me, like the factions and and uh, you know the units, um, mm. just like basic stuff, and then you start getting into the plumbing and the air conditioning and mm. uh, the electric, and that's kind of like where you get into the mechanics. But then you start getting into the design. Yeah. You know, and, and personally, my job outside of, you know, modding is not my job. So my job in life is I work in retail with furniture and interior mm. design. And so, you know, people build homes all the time. They come to us to buy furniture and to make their yeah. house look pretty. So for me, those reforms and those scripts and those um, taking over a faction and becoming a new faction those are, that's like the pretty design. That's like the furniture yeah. that makes it comfortable and makes you feel like at home, um, painting the walls, stuff like that. Um, and that generally will come much later in our process. We will try to integrate little bits and pieces here and there where we can, yeah. but um, really just depends on what we're focused on. And mm -hmm. so I will say, yes, I just don't know how right. soon yeah. any of those features can be, but to get you excited, there are possibilities. So like in medieval two total war, you had the Kalmar union, that you yeah. can make um, in the Teutonic campaign. Um, I believe you can make that in in Rome Total War. Um, I know Gudea did an amazing job at Chivalry and his team. They uh, they have this trait that King Alfonso starts with as Leon. And once he loses the trait, or once the trait goes away from the game and it's yeah. not red in the game anymore, Portugal appears. Cool. So yeah. there are definitely things we can do um, but we have not discussed what to do yet necessarily. Yeah. And, um, we aren't necessarily from my standpoint. And I know some of even my team members might like hearing, not, not, not like hearing this from my standpoint, we're just not ready yet. Mm. Um, we want, I want to get things, uh, running good. Um, kind of base, like the basics running really good. Yeah. Um, and put that behind us before we do that stuff because mm. um, I would hate to have these amazing mechanics that we've worked hard on and researched and yeah. really got good at and uh, fertilities and trade and stuff like that's jacked up still. And um, mm. so I think in time you would see it probably within the next year, you'll start maybe seeing a few of these things start to pop up. Um, that's cool. Uh, I will. I will say this now, the one thing that you can expect would be some mechanics for the Romans. Yeah. Um, cool. I just don't yeah. know exactly when, but that would probably be our first foray into that world. Yeah. Um, and just because the original game had special mechanics for them and yeah. most mods strip them away, we are going to find a way to add back. Uh, oh. Some kind of civil war mechanic one day. So it's that that's more Exclusive. in the near future next version, but it's in the near future. So I can give you that. Yeah, cool. That sounds that, that sounds great. Yeah, that sounds really, really good. Um because I was genuinely expecting the answer to be no to that script question. So that's cool. That's really cool. Oh um, yeah. I mean I would geez, I would love to like just say, Oh yeah, we're gonna have this, 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 this. It's just we will. It's just not it's so far it's like Yeah. So far in the future, you can't see it very clearly. Mm. And so for me, it would be a disservice to you and anybody that's listening, and even to me and my team, to say, uh, yeah, we're going to do yeah. this. And it's like, well, what if we try it and it doesn't work? And then we have to yeah. come out and say, oh, you know, it, it's not going to get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it looked pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> cool. 
So I've just got a couple more sec sections, probably one more section and then one last question before we can turn the questions over to the lovely, glamorous audience. Um, oh, and uh, the, the first one's on the AI. So have you made changes to the AI? Have you made many changes to the AI? Or is oh, it... Are you talking battles? Are you talking campaigns? Both. Both. Um, I'll speak on battles briefly. Yeah. Not my not my expertise with battles. Um, battles are... <clears throat> there's not a lot you can do with battles compared to the campaign. So, yes, battles should be playing pretty well. We did try to put a script in uh, that was used in Medieval 2 Total War that worked very well. And I even used it for my vanilla enhancement mod in yeah. Realm Total War and it worked really well. Uh, but because Feral... Feral really fixed up a lot of AI issues and they uh, did some stuff. It doesn't go well with the script and it made things really weird. Mm. Um, so we did not include that. But uh, unit behavior and formations, AI formations, which can dictate unit behavior, um, are new or overhauled and they work pretty darn well we have not really had a lot of negative feedback at all from our beta testers as far as battles are concerned i think um for you there's probably not going to be a huge difference from 040 yeah um uh, but there is going to be some subtle differences and i will say this and i feel bad <laughs> saying this but you showcased all the units and we hadn't updated the stats yet <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> and so you're going through these units and you're like, yeah, I'm not sure if this one's better or worse. They kind of have the same stats. And I'm just like watching on my couch. And I'm like, oh, God. Like, <laughs> good. So um, just a couple nights ago, uh, Mosca and I went through and uh, we kind of teared out yeah. um, all those Greek units. And so cool. you do not have three swordsmen on Egypt that are the exact same stats. You have mm -hmm. a. You have like a, a normal tier, a higher tier, and a elite tier now. So you can cool. you feel free when on your free time to go check them <laughs> out. So you're like, oh, okay, now I understand their roles. So it, it was like, yeah. but um, so yeah, um, so battle AI, you're gonna have. Uh, I think each faction kind of has its tiers of units, and so you should be pretty good there. And then as far as the AI and the campaign, goodness, um we're coming off a week or two of consistent uh, changes in play testing. And yeah. We, we are, uh, we were kind of obsessed with mm -hmm. Rome and Carthage uh, fighting it out on Sicily and Syracuse was too strong. Now Syracuse is too weak. Now Rome is too weak. Now Carthage <laughs> is too strong. Trying to balance those three factions out. So it's like yeah. the goal is to have like Carthage or Rome win 75% of the time, mm -hmm. maybe Syracuse every once in a while. Yeah. starts getting powerful but you know we want history to not be a box and scripted yeah. but we don't want it to completely be the opposite of what it was so like yeah. we want a strong Rome. Mm. uh i think we have a mechanic in place i don't know if you encountered this mechanic in your campaign but we do have a mechanic in place where uh there's emergency armies for the romans yeah uh, um, yeah what's the one for the antigonids as well yeah, they're actually that's my job today and tomorrow to get the other factions in. Um, so there's emergency armies and uh, like garrison scripts. Yeah. So certain cities and capitals, you know, be mindful for you players out there. If you see yeah. the score disky capital and there's only one unit in it and you're gonna go in and take it, uh, be a little bit more careful. There's a yeah. there's a reserve force that's gonna be called up because they're protecting their homelands and um, so. There is that. Um, basically, it's for twofold. It's to give you the challenge as a player, and it's also to make sure that there isn't an AI faction that just kind of uh, blitzes through the map and conquers yeah. everybody. Um, it's pretty good right now, our latest tests. Nobody really seems to be overperforming, and nobody really seems to be underperforming. Obviously, we, we, we really want Rome to be the big bad wolf of the game. Yeah. Um, kind of like how they were in Vanilla. Yeah. It took four factions to make Rome the big bad wolf in Vanilla, though, and people have to understand that. There, there was a, um, I, I believe there was a conscious choice to make them four factions yeah. just to force them to conquer the world. Yeah. And um, it's hard to do that with one faction because they want to go in a certain direction. Mm. And so 
um, they either want to go conquer all of Italy or they go for Sicily only, or sometimes they get a little crazy and they go for Corsica and Sardinia. And yeah. next thing you know, they're getting their butts kicked in Sicily by Carthage, <laughs> but they're so busy in Epirus. It's like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. <laughs> um, so, but you can't really control that. We try not to get too invested in that. Mm. Um, but as the player, uh, you will find a, um, you will definitely find a challenge. The AI has bonuses given to them. Uh, they have a little bit of an easier time when it comes yeah. to money, public order. So they will be more set up and aligned with themselves so that they can focus on you. So I I just don't know how challenging it's going to be. We're eager to see yeah. what people say. Um, and if we have to tone it down, we will. If we have to mm -hmm. tone it up, we will. But that's kind of the AI and the campaign and, and, yeah. and uh, with all the factions it should be pretty interesting and then i will say this this is getting really nerdy but um i think for you you can appreciate it so the rebels <laughs> yeah uh, we tried multiple things with the rebels uh there's a mod out there called rome total realism platinum edition and the rebels have almost full stacks like you're seeing here in atria yeah. um i believe it's about 10 units uh and they'll just stay there yeah and uh they become very tough to take and uh, that's what we wanted, and so we added that. But what was happening is uh, the rebel guys, they were vacating the entire settlement except for one unit, and then they were kind of lazily yeah. controlling the border, and then as a player, you just exploit that. You just, like you would walk in, you take it, and sometimes the army can't get back to you in time, or yeah. they don't think they don't care. And they just let you take their settlement. So next thing you know, you have a bit you have a new settlement with a big rebel army patrolling your lands and you can just ignore them for the most part um we were getting so sick and tired of that because it takes away the challenge and so we have a little uh a little feature where um these generals that are in charge of these garrisons cannot move and uh we had to mess around with the movement points a bit but cool. these guys will stay in so these rebel settlements are not going to be easy to take yeah. and um we wanted it that way because um honestly when you're just consistently going and taking settlement after settlement after settlement it's a little bland and we want you to be able to think before you attack so yeah. there is yeah. that little bit there so i i think that would probably be it as far as this version as far as ai is concerned um another concern of ours was parthia um they were they're stacked up against the big seleucid empire and yeah. they have bacteria over here and you know historically they kind of chipped away it became their own empire, but in the game, they they like to make themselves protectorates of the mm. Seleucids. But we, we alleviated that; they should be good to go now. Yeah. Um, so I think everything is pretty much okay and ready, but um, we will make the necessary adjustments as things get reported to us. Cool. Yeah, cool. That that will make sense. Yeah, I, I believe so. The um the units, the the places that I fought, I, I believe I fought an Antigonid Doomstack when I. Siege down Pella in the Sparta campaign. If that's they appeared out of nowhere, right? They were just in the city, I believe. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. See, gosh, I don't even know our own mechanics so well. <laughs> yes, that's right. They spawned inside the city. Yeah, and I fought. I didn't fight a Roman one as Sparta, but I did fight a Roman one as the as Carth Carthage, which was pretty tough. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, can't really remember the Carthage campaign too much. Um, but yeah. Fighting Roma's Carthage is is brutal, is absolutely brutal. <laughs> they are hard to take on. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's even more brutal because they have even more settlements to take now. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, first of all, your first mistake was playing on very hard. Yeah, it's, it's very hard. very hard. <laughs> so I always say, like, because I've worked on multiple mods. Yeah. If it's an A Howl Eleven mod, do not play on very hard. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's not worth it you want to the ideal difficulty is always to play on hard in the same with battle difficulty hard hard yeah. unless you're masochistic i yeah. mean unless unless you're like um you know legend of total war yeah. and you just want that impossible challenge uh go for it but if you're just like the normal player go for hard hard because um the ai the AI is better than you as far as bonuses are concerned, but not 
to the point it, it's i guess it's more of a diplomacy thing on very hard the ai literally it's like their eyes go red and the only thing they think is kill player kill player <laughs> and they will do everything at least on hard they're aggressive towards the player but they're not like unreasonably aggressive um but yeah. that doesn't stop them from breaking alliances with you and stuff no, i'm sure you've seen that, part of the campaign that as soon as you border them they yeah. they will attack you it's just yeah. kind of that's rome total war in a nutshell that's that's just a total war diplomacy in a nutshell really isn't it it's just if you're near someone they'll attack you <laughs> and uh, you're never going to get out of it until you've destroyed the whole faction or basically crippled them um right so, and then once you cripple them, they'll ask you to be a protectorate and stuff, which I think is cool. And I guess that was an original feature that never really mm. uh, was made correctly. And so yeah. Feral, it's like the AI does a good job of kind of assessing your strength compared to theirs, and then they yeah. kind of treat you as such. So it's a little bit better than what it used to be, but it's still, like you said, it's it's total war diplomacy. They're gonna yeah, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, and you're just gonna have to beat them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, <laughs> and uh, well, do you remember? Do you remember when they first released it? Released it, and the uh, the compensation thing was uh, was an option. It still is an option, I believe, but I, I think it's just offering compensation now. Can you still demand it? But I don't know. I don't know. Actually, there's so many things that Feral did, and I had, this is a horrible uh, revelation that I'm going to give. But I have yet to play um, a campaign on RIS. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've well, only played one campaign on remastered, and that was, of course, the Julia. And I think yeah. I conquered Gaul, and I was over it. <laughs> um, and that's all I've played. So, like, as far as just like a lot of the new features, as far as playability and mm. stuff, it's like I'm I'm so deep into making the the yeah. mod that's like I haven't had time to check those out. So I have yeah. no idea. Well, to, to be fair, Tone said exactly the same thing. I asked him what his favorite faction was, and he he started laughing. So, <laughs> yeah. he said, I haven't yeah. played for 10 years, so <laughs> he's just exactly. too busy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there, there was a compens... So, like, when it first released, I think it was one of the first things they patched over, there was a compensation thing where basically if, a, if someone betrayed you or transgressed against you, you could just send your diplomat, ask for compensation, and they would pretty much give you, like, like, say they just transgressed against you and you asked for compensation, they'd give you a city. If they portrayed you as an ally and then stabbed you in the back and then you fought them back until they wanted a ceasefire and you asked for compensation, they'd pretty much give you all their cities. <laughs> so, Oh, wow. Of, yeah, Spiffing Brit did a video on it where he basically took over the whole map just through gaining comp like these compensation things. Yeah, yeah, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they fixed that. No, I yeah, they, think... they fixed it, like, pretty quickly. Because it yeah. was it was so but that that was that was just like as soon as that happened I was like yeah it's uh total war a uh, total war uh, diplomacy <laughs> in a nutshell coming yeah. out um, yeah. um but yeah cool so thank you very much for watching guys please like and subscribe all that good stuff it really does help the channel out check out the discord for the mods down below and the steam page ready to click that subscribe button on friday or you can subscribe already and uh, get playing it just to get your practice in before the new big mod comes out and uh, i will see you all guys on the next video